Let's put these numbers in context. $251 billion is more than the market value of companies like Netflix, McDonald's, Morgan Stanley and AT&T, making it the largest one-day value drop in the stock market history. The previous record was Apple's $182 billion loss in September of 2020. The four biggest drops in stock market history have all occurred in the last two years, as names like Apple, Tesla, Microsoft have all ballooned in valuation. The reasons for Meta's wipeout are many, but it really boils down to whether growth at the core Facebook product has peaked. Now, Facebook's user base has declined by 1 million on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Well, this has never happened in the company's 18-year history. Facebook's usage has been stagnant in big markets like North American region for some time now, which mo most would put down to market saturation. Everyone who's going to use Facebook is already doing so, and there is not many more people you can add in. But now what we are seeing is that perhaps some slowdown is coming in in the other markets, which could be a big issue for Facebook's broader growth. Factor number two is competition. Now, TikTok is fiercely competing with Instagram for eyeballs, especially with the younger generation. This is what Mark Zuckerberg had to say in the earnings call. People have a lot of choices for how they want to spend their time, and apps like TikTok are growing very quickly. Well, there are other factors like Apple's change in the privacy policy, which is also hurting the company. But the main two reasons for Facebook user growth uh, being peaked and the unprecedented competition is hurting the company. On India, Mark Zuckerberg said that user growth in India was also limited by an increase in the data package pricing. So as Meta uh, traverses and navigates uh, from the social media company to the virtual world of Meta, it is having a tricky time.